PHP for loops. They are the one of the fundamental building blocks of any software language. They allow us to iterate, to loop. The first parameter in a for loop is going to be the initial loop value. We're going to start our loop at zero. Next, we have to say, okay, we want to loop until the, this loop number, this initial loop value, is less than or equal to 10. Next, we want to say, after each iteration of our loop, we want to increase the number of loop from zero. So after our first iteration, loop will be one, then it will be two, and then three, four, five, all the way up until it hits 10. Inside our loop, we're going to echo out loop, and then we're going to pass in the variable of loop. So this is the string. Because we're using double quotes, we can actually put the loop variable inside, and it will echo out the number, the current loop iteration. After that, we're going to use this backslash n. That is known as an escape character. This tells PHP to add an empty line or knock the next loop to the next line. After that, we're going to open up our terminal and we're going to run this index.php file. We get loop 0, loop 1, loop 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 10. So because we started at 0, we actually have 11 iterations. If we wanted to only have 10 iterations, we could do this. Loop has to be less than 10. This means it will stop when it hits 9. But because we're starting at 0, we would have 10 iterations. Let's try it. 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9. So 9 plus that 0 is 10. So that's how we would do 10 iterations. Now, if we wanted to, we could say iteration, and we could call that loop plus 1. This would allow us to get the actual number instead of that 0 making it look funky for us. So now we have loop 1, loop 2, loop 3, all the way down to loop 10. Another thing we're able to do is we can say loop equals loop plus 5. Now what we're doing is we're looping, but we're adding 5 each time. So this time we won't have as many iterations, because instead of adding one number to this initial loop value, after each iteration of our loop, we're adding 5. So check this out. 1 and 6. We only had two iterations. If we did 2, we'll have five iterations. That is how you can change the value of increase that the initial value has. So initially the value is zero. We will quit looping when we hit nine because loop has to be less than 10. Each loop, we're going to increase the value of our initial loop value by 2. Thus, we only have these 5 loops. There's only 5 iterations because we're increasing by 2 each time. The last thing I want to show you guys with for loops is a different syntax. So in PHP, we can actually do this. We can do loop equals 0. Loop has to be less than 10 and loop plus plus, just like that. Next, we're going to go down here, and we're actually going to say end for, and add a semicolon. And what this does is this lets us remove the brackets, right? So originally we had these brackets, just like that. But we can actually use these colons here, and the for, and the end for. And then we can echo the loop 
and as well as the current iteration of our loop. And if we run this, we will get loop 0, loop 1, loop 2. And again, if we want that to look a little prettier, we can add this backslash n, escape to the next line. And let's run that one more time. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is for loops in a nutshell. Another thing you can do with for loops that's really cool is you could say, okay, we have people. And we have Sarah. We have Tom. We have Betty. And we have Jimmy. This is an array. This is a list. It has four elements in it. You may be wondering why the loop starts at zero. Well, the reason the loop starts at zero is because to access an array, for example, people, to get the first person in that array to access Sarah, we would actually have to access the zero number. We would have to get the person at an index of zero. So if we comment this out for a second, and we come back up here, we do option T, Sarah. Because we're access accessing the zero index, well, the zero index maps to the first person. So why does this matter? Well, check this. Since we start our loops at zero, very, very often, well, now we can say echo person, and then we'll say, okay, people loop. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to iterate or loop through our people array. We're going to loop through the names of our people. And we're going to output or echo all of them to our terminal. This loop will first be 0, then it will be 1, then it will be 2, and then it will be 3. That will map to Sarah then Tom, then Petty, then Jimmy. So let's try this out. Woo! Ah, and we also need to, of course, change that from 10 to 3. So what happened there was if we try to echo out people 4 or people 5, they don't exist, right? So if we comment out our loop and we just do this, and let's clear this out real quick, and let's rerun that. Undefined offset 4. Undefined offset 5. Well, the reason is because Sarah is 0, Tom is 1, Betty is 2, Jimmy is 3. We don't have anybody at the index of 4. We don't have anybody at the index of 5. But if we were to put somebody like John and Avery in there and rerun this, now we get John and Avery. So let's uncomment our for loop again. And let's go to 5. Because we start at 0, and we have 6 people in our loop. 0 has to be less than 5. So that will bring it up to 4. So we have to say less than or equal to 5. And there we go. Person Sarah, person Tom, person Betty, person Jimmy, person John, person Avery. Now, we can take this a little further. And this will be the last thing we'll do on for loops. And we could even say, okay, name equals people loop, and then we're going to do two upper, just like that. And so now we're going to be capitalizing the name, and now we can just do name, person name, Sarah, Tom, Betty, Jimmy, John, Avery. So guys, that is four loops in a nutshell then that is a very simple use case of how you can use them to iterate through 
a list of people, uppercase all of their names, and then output or echo each of the person's names, each individual's names, into our terminal. Thanks for watching. This is Zachary Horn with Clean Code Studio. Clean code, clean life. Seven.